Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. Today I will do a demonstration on configuring IPv4 root summarization scenario 1. This is packet tracer activity 6.4.1.5 and this is a CCNA semester 2. Okay, so if I just open my files, so packet tracer source files are here and this is the lab that we're going to do today. Okay, now that packet tracer has loaded, so I'm going to move my topology on the right here and the activity on the left. Objective is uh, for this activity is to calculate summary routes, then we configure summary routes and verify connectivity. In this activity, we will uh, calculate and configure summary routes. Router, sum root, router summarization, also known as root aggregation, is a process of advertising a contiguous set of addresses as a single address. So if I open a package, uh, sorry, if I open a notepad here, okay, so for example, say that you want to have 192.168.0.0 you have 192.168.0.0 then 192.168.1.0 4/24 and you have 192.168.2.0/4/24 and 192.168.3.0/4 uh, sorry 0/4/24 what we want to do is we want to summarize all these four networks uh, sorry uh, yeah four networks into one single network rather than sending all those four networks to our neighbors first thing you need to do is place all those on the binary format right so this is a, a decimal format we want to do it in the binary so 192 in binary do you remember 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 next one 168 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 8 zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 another 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so this is 192 168 dot zero dot zero let me just copy this because we're just gonna change dot one dot zero is this bit here let's change to one dot two dot zero is this bit here let's change to one and dot three dot zero is these two bits are changed into one if you remember right the table here one two eight and you have sixty four thirty two sixteen eight uh, four two and one so that's what I'm saying these two bits here is like two plus one is three uh, 192 is for example this two first bits so a bit here and a bit here so 1928 plus 64 is 192 uh, 168 is this bit here 128 uh, here 128 plus this bit represents 32 because it's on third placement so 1 to 8 and 32 is 160 and this bit represents 8 so that's 168 okay what we have to do here is find out till what bit are those four addresses or four network addresses are exactly the same so if we look from here the, all four of them the first octet is the same same the second octet is the same so not change there on the fourth octet this bit is the same this bit is the same, same, this bit is the same, same, same. So until this bit here, everything here, everything is the same. So then we count how many bits are the same. So 8 plus 8 is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. There's 22 bits are the same. So 4 slash 22. And then we place all these that become 0 there. Yeah? So we need to convert this back to decimal if you convert this to decimal is 192 dot if you convert this back to decimal is 168 dot this one is zero because everything else has become zero so we it's zero zero so summary address for these four networks is 192 168 zero zero four slash 22 we represent all four, four networks so same thing we're going to do in, on our lab, but they've got different addresses, right? So if we take these two, copy, so 172, there you go, 22, dot 1, and then 128, 
and 172.22.1.160. So if we look, this, these bits are the same. The second octet bits are the same. The third octet bits are the same. The fourth octet bit, this bit is the same. This bit is the same. And that's it. So when we found the differences, where the differences lay, is there. So the, then we start counting. How many bits we have the same? So 8, 16, 24, 25, 26. There's 26 bits are the same. Right, so 4 slash 26. And then we convert it back to decimal, right? So this is uh, uh, 172 dot. This one is 22 dot. And this one is 1. And then this represents 1 to 8. Right, so dot 1 to 8. So the summary address for these two uh, IP addresses is 172 22 1 4 slash 26. Okay, so if we could write it here, I will write it there. But okay, now calculate the summary route on R3 to reach the LAN on R1 and R2. Okay, so we need we have three addresses here. We have 172.31.157.0. One seven two dot thirty one dot one five seven dot sixty four and then one seven two dot thirty one dot one five seven dot what is it ninety six four slash thirty this is four slash thirty this one is four slash twenty seven and this one is four slash twenty six okay so the first thing we're gonna do is to convert this into binary so 172 in binary is 10101100 okay 31 in binary is if you convert yeah you have time at home you start converting what is 31 right so it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. okay 157 what is 157 okay so 128 that bit represents 64, so 128 and 64, 192, that's too much. 128 and 32, uh, 150, 160, that's way too much. So 128 plus 16, yes. So 138, 138, 144, 144, 144. Let me just do this. 128, we're gonna need 16. Okay, so that's one four four. Okay, what else we need? Eight. We're gonna need eight. And we're gonna need the four. So one four four, one four eight, one five six. Right, so this is one five six. And then it's one five seven, yeah? So the one. Okay, so here we go. Sixteen. We're going to need 1 in 8, 1 in 4, 0 in 2, 1 in 1. Okay, the next one is 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go. Okay. Now, these three octets are the same. Right, there we go. 64. 64 is 1, 0. And one, that's sixty-four. Ninety-six is zero, one one, and rest zeros. So now we have to find out where till what bit they are the same. So if you look, the first three octet are exactly the same, all three of them. The next bit is the same, and that's it. The rest is different, right? So we need to make a small gap there. Right, so when we count them, 8 and 8, 16, 24, 25, there's 25 bits are exactly the same. We delete these, 25 bits are the same. So when we convert this back into decimal, it's going to be 172.31.157.0. Okay, and then we have to convert this, but since it's 0, we put a 0 there.
Okay. So those three network addresses that we have we have been given, this is the summary address. Okay, what is the summarized network address and the submit mask? Here we go. Right? With submit mask we can say prefix or 25 is 255.255.255.128. Okay, configure a summary route. Configure a summary route for R1. Configure the recursive summary route uh, that you calculate in part one. Okay, so this is the summary route in part one. Let me just make a small gap here. Okay, this here. This one here. Recursive means you send it to uh, the neighbor IP address. And because it's the neighbor's IP address, the router has to do another lookup to find out how to get to that IP address. So that's why it's called recursive. So configure recursive summary route that you calculate in part one. So on R1, we have to go to R1. R1. CLI. That's what it says, yeah? Configure summary route for R1. Right? And uh, enable. Configure T, then IP root, and the root that we got was this 172, 22, 128, sorry, 22.1.128 forward slash 26. Copy that, paste. Okay, forward slash 26 is not going to work here, so we have to put in a decimal submit 255.255.255.192, and then recursive is a neighbor's IP address. So the neighbor's IP address, if you look, 98 is this one, right? Since so we're doing it on 97, on serial interface, the neighbor's on the serial is 98. That's a, on the same network. So it's going to go to uh, 172.31.157.98. Enable and show IP root. Okay, so there we go. We have configured a recursive static root. Now the next one is says configure a summary root for router three. Configure the directly attached summary root that you calculate in part one, step two, which is this root. Okay. Directly attached summary root is your exit interface. So we're going to give that to router 3. Router 3 exit interface is serial 001. So I'm going to open router 3. Go to CLI. Just expand a little bit. This one. So enable. Config T. IP root. Right, if I can open the notepad. Copy that. Paste. Uh, no, can't do it that way. IP root. Remove the prefix. So IP root. And then submit mask. 255.255.255.128. And then exit interface will be directly attached. Right. So if we do show IP root. We can see that we have a static route that we just configured and it's directly attached. Okay, next one is well, we got completion 100 out of 100. Excellent. Verify that all PCs host, all PC hosts, and router can ping other PC hosts on the router and the on the topology. If not, we troubleshoot any issues. Okay, so we have to go to this is our topology. PC1, right, uh, let's go back to our activity and get some IP addresses. Okay, so we open PC1, let's open all the PCs, PC1, PC2, and PC3. Okay, now, PC1, this is PC1, we're going to go to desktop and try and ping PC2. So ping uh, 172.31.157.128. Uh, 
157.94. Okay, let's have a look. Hey, we got a reply. The first is time out because of the ARP request. Okay, let's have, try the other PC. PC3 is 172.22.1.190. Excellent. PC1 can talk to PC2 and PC3. So what we're going to do the next, we're going to go to PC2 and see if PC2 can ping PC3. If it's true, we pretty much can ping everywhere. So ping 172.22.1.190. Yep. Right away. Okay, so if pings can come from here to here, from here to here, everybody can ping each other. Um, we can do it this way. So ping from here to here, successful, ping from here to here, successful, ping from PC2 to PC3, successful. Okay, we can do the simulation mode, but I don't want to waste your time, it's all done. Uh, let's move on to the next uh, video. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Astrid Krasnichi demonstrating you to you how to configure IPv4 root summarization, scenario one. Hope to see you in the scenario two. Bye.